Hey friends, new and old, it's your friend Chip, and today we're going to take a look at Monster High G3 Torali, and she is a Walmart exclusive. We can take a closer look, we can see her here with Cleo and Claudine, her new text, and I love the little tail here, see the heart with the tail here, and the sweet things in the box with her. And she comes with a mic stand and a phone and some pretty cool accessories over here. We can take a look at the side of the box and see her boots, a cat, a paw, that's gotta be her microphone, her actual phone, her eye coffin, that heart with the tail again, her backpack for the Hisfits, a clawed hand, clawed furry hand, and scratchy jacket. On the back, oh, we can see Torlai's new artwork. I think she looks pretty good. I think the nose is going to take me some time to get used to on her. I don't mind her with longer hair, but I just, she's just always had short hair to me. Uh, oh, we can see that her monster type is Ferocious Werecat, Monster Must Have, Scratch Mark Choker, and Perfectly Chilled Milk Box, and Monster Pet Sweet Fangs. And there's the whole group, just chilling on the stairs. And there's the UPC, if you're looking for her. And let's go ahead and get Torlai out of the box. Okay, and we have Torlai out of the box. She's looking great. I actually like this doll a lot more than I thought I was going to. Let's take a closer look. So for her face, we can see she's got some stripes on her forehead. She's got really nice, full eyebrows. I love her makeup with the pink and the orange and the yellow. And her eyes are cat-like with green and yellow. She's got a little beauty mark. And the cat nose and red lipstick. We can see tufts of fur on the sides of her head. And she does have cat ears. And what's nice about these cat ears is we can see the tuft of fur. Goes. There we go. We can see the tuft of fur inside. And we've also got this little notch or niche. Makes it very cat-like and they're nice big and pronounced. She's got a little silver hoop earring on this one. And on this one, she's got another silver hoop and then another ear piercing with a red hoop. And her hair is this pink and red and orange. You can see it all in there. So this is going to be her cat scratch choker. See little scratch marks there. And she's got a <laughs> really funny faced cat on the front of her shirt, little white t-shirt. And she's got green eyes like the cat. And her hair is this pink and orange and red like the cat. And she does. And she does have a red leather jacket. And it has purple scratch marks on it. You can see a little stitched on zipper here. Nice little collar. And she does have wrist articulation. We can see that this doll has the claws like a cat. 
and on her wrists we'll see that she's got fur and she's got fur molded into her wrists and she's got the wrist articulation she's got the elbow articulation and the shoulder articulation head moves up and down and all around and she does have the chest joint that we've looked at before where we can move it all the way around and then she's got a chain or maybe crocheted even uh, belt here and this is a little paw print and looks like little yarn balls on her belt and her skirt is a high-waisted like, pleated skirt it's black and pink checkered with yellow scratch marks and she does have a beautiful long tail, really sturdy, doesn't feel like you would break it. And the tip of it does have fur molded into it. We can see down on her leg, she's got more of those stripes. And her shoes have these little yarn balls. Whoa! Have these little yarn balls on the back of them. And we can see little scratch marks, scratch marks, more scratch marks. Looks like maybe she's got purple socks on and black laces on the underneath. We can see there's a pop print and on the very front. I think that might be Things. Not really sure. And they are slit up the back, so you can easily remove. And you can see that her ankles have the fur detail as well. And if you look at her toes, look at her clawed toes. Love it. And then her shoe is easy to put back on. Oh, and she's got her shoe back on. And we can take a look at the back. So you can see the hair. It's a little iffy out of the box good brush a good wash it, it has um kind of the same feel that draculaurus did in some spots not as bad as draculaurus draculaurus felt really greasy but this has got some kind of a feel to it and it looks like this is velcroed and this is peg We'll get her back on the doll stand. And she comes with a couple different accessories. She's got a really cool mic stand that is a claw a paw you can take the mic out of the stand let me have the mic claw let me have it thank you so this is claw and it's just like a little little claw a little paw and the stand goes all the way down to a base 
that is like a giant spider web. So she can have the mic stand, or she can hold the microphone. I'm saying maybe it goes on like this. This feels more natural, maybe. Hold it. Now, if we can just get her arm. Okay. So she can hold the microphone, which I'm not sure if these are cat ears and a cat tail, but I kind of think about it as like mice ears and like rat ears and a rat tail on the mic. Uh, but she can hold just the mic or the mic can be on the stand. It'll just slide right back into place. So she's got a cool mic stand. It looks like she's in a band called the Hiss Fits. And she's got a really cool studded bag. Look at those little spikies. Scratch marks. The name of her band. She's got this little charm on her backpack that is a mouse on a feather. And her backpack can open, so we can put her stuff in it. And it is a single strap backpack with those spiky studs on it. So it's just an over the shoulder. It probably goes over this arm because then it doesn't get in the way of her um, tail. I wonder if it would go like right across her midsection. It doesn't open to do so, but she does have her a really cool bag. She also comes with this can of fish. Maybe it's a can of sardines. I'm not sure if this is hers or maybe it's Sweet Fangs. But she's got, she's got her little snack and it's little can of sardines. And she's also got her perfectly chilled milk box. So cute and detailed and she can hold the milk box and she can hold the gosh how would that be probably like that and she can hold the can of fish and she does come with her eye coffin and see the cover there the screen and it's got like a tiger reaching over it like a cat reaching all the way around the phone case really cute and we can put her milk down and put her phone in her hand She doesn't hold her phone as good as the other ones do. But she can hold her phone. And she came with her pet Sweet Fangs. It looks like a saber tooth tiger. We can see some molded on stripes. And they do have a collar 
and some teal stripes on the hat. Really pretty green eyes. Very cute. And she does come with this band t-shirt like band merch that I would imagine would be on sale at one of her concerts. And it's just Velcro. It's kind of like a really cool bleachy tie-dyed like almost homemade band merch t-shirt. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can't get her in this and see what she would look like. <coughs> okay. So I'm thinking the best way to get her jacket off is to take the hand off and then this jacket might pull right off. No, I might have to take the arm all the way out. So, get the hair out of the way. There we go. Now we can get her jacket off. There we go. And slide this right over her hand. There we go. We can take a better look at her shirt. It's actually a little tank top. A little sleeveless. All right. And it's just Velcro right in the back without that arm. It makes it real easy to take that right off. And we'll put her other one on. Put that hand, uh, put this hand back together. They're real easy to put back together. Okay, then we can just right around the front and right up on this arm. Like that. Like this. And then let's put her arm back. Well, let's wait, because we might put her jacket back on. Um, so this is what she looks like in her band shirt. And make sure that her choker is on the outside of the shirt. So, she's got her band shirt on for the his fit. I actually really like it, and it looks nice with the skirt. Don't hate it at all. Let's try it with the jacket. So, the jacket, I think we took both arms out. I think it's the best. She's armless, armless to tour on. Just tore all the eyeballs. Okay. And we got a big, 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 Okay, so now we've got that, and then this pops right back in. And then her hand pops right back in, and then we put her sleeve back down. And then we gotta push the sleeve up. And then we just put this on oh, right back in there. And you can see she's got those stripes on her arm right there. And we can now see Torlai in her
and then we can see Torlai in her his fit shirt with her jacket and I actually like that shirt better so she might stay in that and then this shirt might go on the rack I like her in her his fit shirt all right let's put her back on the stand Alright, and that is Toralai from Monster High's new G3 line. What do you think? Do you like this Toralai? Do you miss the old Toralai? I think she's pretty cool. I like all the fun little cat-like features that they gave her. I love her accessories. I like that she's in a band. I really hope she can sing good because in the last one, she couldn't sing at all. So I have hopes for her. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed hanging out today, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, click the notification bell so you never miss the next time we open a cool toy. And if we aren't friends yet, you know exactly what to do. Hit that subscribe button and stick around. Until next time, bye.